Hi, my friends. Now we uh, model the part number seven from my uh, collection of 100 parts. We start by studying the drawing and uh, we see that the part is a bushing with uh, some uh, specification maybe this one is relatively interesting and uh, this this uh, uh, cutting on the side let's activate the template let's draw the main contour of the section half of the section of the part As you see, let's do make coincident this line with this line, and then we look to the drawing and uh, we try to respect all the dimensions without making calculus. Yes, 38, uh, 65, 56, 16, and 50. We have a strategy. The first dimension is this one. 56 and then we project the y axis as a center line okay this is the center line then we can uh, create dimensions uh, uh, by referring uh, this line as diameters 38 uh, 50 65 and then 16 Next is uh, this corner, 2 with a diameter of 60. Two lines. But uh, I forgot to change this and to change this. Trim. Oh, this is not good. It happens. The dimension is from here to here. 16. Sixteen. Two. And here. 60. Okay. 
the other element is this uh, chamfer 120 with a diameter of 47 align trim this is not good fifty six and forty seven is this diameter forty seven and the angle of uh, one hundred and twenty divided by two we don't invent dimensions fully constrained let's go here where we have uh, one by one two dimensions for a clearance These two are equal, and uh, this point is on this line. So I prefer to uh, place this constraints before to apply dimensions one by one. Okay, and then trim inside the clearance. Okay, <clears throat> that's all. Full constraint. Uh, we have here another clearance. Yes, diameter. 49.6 on 4 millimeters trim both 4 millimeters and the diameter of 39.6 there is a small difference here but it is necessary when you engage the bushing in the hole Finish sketch, revolve, OK. Next we have to apply this radius and two chamfers, 0 0.5 here and 1 here. Chamfer. No, fillet, 3 is the radius, ok, chamfer, point 0.5, plus, in the inside, 1, ok, now I prefer to uh, assign material 
to see something nice. Still high strength, low alloy. Why? Because uh, this is the guide for a drill. And uh, a drill is a tool and this must resist to many times of using. Good. Now we see that this uh, this cutting here is placed at five millimeters up from uh, the bottom line of this uh, part of our bushing five millimeters so we create a plane here minus here is the direction minus five and then we create a sketch in this plane a slot but a special slot this one uh, excuse me this one yes center point arc there are three moments first is to uh, select the center. Now we uh, place the diameter, the ra radius, 39.5, then uh, 30 degrees, and then the diameter double of what is the radius or how large is the radius so I multiply the radius with 2 the last thing to do is to make this line horizontal F7 to see inside will uh, eliminate this uh, material. How? By using extrude. Extrude with cut all the way up. Okay. We hide the plane and now we have to uh, go th through with this end of the cutting we use this face we place a circle over this arc and then the sketch is ready to be used by extrude okay now everything is done the part has the mass and the other data if you want to model it you have the dimensions all the data here that's all for today bye bye